Bones Post Show. Here's your host, Bobby Bones. Thank you. Thank you. Is this the most it snowed here this quickly? Yeah. It, it wasn't like the biggest disaster because a lot of times it's like freezing rain and the roads are awful and the roads aren't good, but it's just a lot of snow. We measured at the house. We had eight inches, which is a lot of snow for, a lot. for here. But I know we've had other snows. You say, yeah, it's the biggest we've had. It's the most I can recall. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty clean snow, too. Like, we went out with the dogs. They loved it. It's like Eller's thing. She loves to be out in the snow. I had to get the whistle out last night at like 11 o'clock, which I'm sure the neighbors did not like. To call her back? Yeah. She goes in the woods. If we just yell Eller, she won't come. Especially if she's tracking an animal. So, shh, shh, blow the whistle. She knows there's meat. As the treat, if she comes to the whistle. That's crazy that her paws don't freeze. Like, my hands, if I don't have a glove, oh. gloves on, like, mm-hmm. they're frozen in 30 seconds. Well, they- Stanley came back in. He goes out, does his thing. He's like, this sucks. <laughs> He's back inside. They make little um, some hair fur. dog booties that you can Velcro on their paws. Never, It would never last on my and dogs. They don't like that. Well, I know, but. Their claws can't get into things then. <laughs> when, when I lived in North Carolina, it was colder weather, and my dog Really, my Rottweiler, She, I had to put these little Velcro booties on her. <laughs> you helped. had to? Well, it helped. Otherwise, she wouldn't want to go out into the snow. So it was one thing I did to help protect her feet. I think dogs just are protect. They have fur. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Or the store just sold them to me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Uh, so, but we're all here for the most part. I think we got very fortunate that most of us were able to get in today. Is it, I had a friend text me and said, how'd you get into work today? I said, Eddie picked me up. And he was like. Nice job, dude, and put dude in parentheses. Dude. Like a dude doesn't have another dude pick him up for work. That's true. What? What's yeah, wrong with that? You, yeah. Hmm. But he's on the way. But and still, Eddie has a car that's like. Eddie has a Jeep, and the Jeep's strong. It's made for the snow. Right, and I don't. Like right. my, I'm, I'm not made for anything. Sunny days. 78. <laughs> that's about what I'm made for. No, so does that make me... Uh, According to my friend, less of a man that had a dude come pick me up f- to take me to work. No. It's just like. Also, I don't claim to be a man. It's just people Whatever helping people, means. man. That's right. Come on. Lunchbox, you drove yourself, though. Yeah. Oftentimes, you need help. Yeah, but I drove my wife's car. Yeah. She's got an SUV. So I was okay. No problem. Didn't want to test the Ultima out in the snow. I mean, it's made it before, but uh, this was a whole new level. Did of, you guys uh, sled yesterday and stuff? Sled, snowball fights. I mean, everything. It was awesome. Kids, bury me in snow. Bury me in snow. So I buried them in the snow. Ain't I saw, sense. I saw your kids eating snow. Oh, they eat the snow, no problem. They were just like, ah, ah. They loved it. What'd you guys do? Yeah, we did the same. I mean, we, the whole, almost the whole neighborhood got together and we just all sled together, which was fun because like the first time we went down the hill, it was like, oh, this is great. And then no one could get up. We're like, oh, how do we get back up? So one of the dads had to go and get a rope, tie it to a tree, and then we all use that rope to get back up. We're not used to that stuff, so we had to learn. What'd you do? I did a three-minute cold plunge. Into, like, your pool, your normal pool? Yeah. yeah. It was great. Is that normal? Can you do that? I don't think that's healthy. Well, I yeah, did it's, it. It's a cold plunge. It's sure. a cold plunge, but I had never done it in the snow, so it was pretty Three cool. minutes is a long time. It, it just was the getting out part uh I wore my slippers out there, and then I couldn't. I was trying to get in so fast that my slipper ended up staying one of them on me, and it ended up getting soaking wet. So I had to go back in barefoot. That was the hardest part. Oh. And then I put my feet by the fire, and they thawed out, and I was good to go. But I was proud of myself for did the entire three minutes. We got in the hot tub while it was snowing. Oh, that's cool. Yesterday, Ooh. it was hard to get the top of it off though because it was like eight inches of snow. Mm-hmm. But then we got it off and we did that. But yeah, then it sucked going back in the house. But it's, it's still <laughs> that's fun. romantic. Yeah, that snow is snow falling while you're in the hot tub. Did you plan that out? Doing the snow? Yeah. I was no, like, no. <laughs> the hot tub. Thank was God. Like, like, no, it was her idea. Oh. She was like, "Should we get in the hot tub?" And I was like, "Man, yeah, I gotta go take the cover off." She's like, "Do you need my help?" And I was like, "No, I don't need my help. I don't. I don't need. I don't need <laughs> no, things but I like need guys to pick me up to go to work." So I went in and I dumped that off, and then we. We're in for a little bit, but yeah, it was, it was nice. nice. But it, there's no, there's earth comes down on top of us. Snow? Yeah. Well, if there was like a little coat, like a top. Oh, like a cabana. That would be nice, but it was just snow on top of us. But that's part of the. That's part romance. of the romance. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. like the Bachelor. They do that. They go to Colorado and they're in a hot tub and yeah. it's snowing. Yeah. It's like okay, well, this is yeah, the backyard. Like backyard. <laughs> it's just kind of cold. You hey, know? Do, do you want to come sledding today? I do not. Okay. Hey, we may work out today. No. Come what? On. Come on, man. Snow day. Oh, work, yeah. I'm going to do Rocky workouts going up that hill. So you're out? 
Well, I don't know. I mean, that's the first time I've ever heard of it. So, I mean, maybe, maybe I'll. I just I'll got a message. He's saying they come over. Well, you're already going to be at Bobby's house dropping him off. That's true. That's right. Well, no, that's way before because we're not going to stay as long as we normally do here today. Oh. Yeah. So I appreciate that. I'll Eddie. think about it. I'll yeah, think about I appreciate it. Appreciate that. Of uh, the top ten most impactful TV moments of all time, anybody have any guesses? TV uh, moments. Hmm. Is yeah, when like, they got lost, they crashed that airplane, man. It doesn't have to be just it's anything on TV. Is it news? It, like oh, it can wow. be. It can oh, be OJ okay. Simpson. Amy went nine eleven. Mm-hmm. At number two, no, no, that's that's world. That's uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, September eleventh. Live coverage of the terrorist attacks on World Trade Center, September eleventh, two thousand one. Number two, you got that one. Go ahead. The landing on the moon. Number one. Oh, oh was that live on TV? Yeah, Dude, that's, was, I didn't know that. That didn't happen. Oh, here we go. Oh, stop, dude. You're going to get so many people. Listen, one day I'm going to go into it. Are you leaning more that way now? I'm not leaning at all anywhere. You're you're there. No, I'm just standing oh. straight up tall. It's just, let me say this. Oh, boy. What is it? I almost don't want to. It doesn't matter. I'll talk about it. Okay, JFK then. Was Did that you on know TV? Oh, that, okay, gonna, that, like, the, ast- the astronauts now. Na- okay, for, so we had the technology. We got to the moon in 1969, right? Yeah, man. You know we can't right now? We lost... Uh, even if you ask NASA, they lost the technology. I thought that they were literally no, sending no, no, ashes no. to the moon right now. Yeah. They, the people, the radiation belt, they don't know how to do it. They, they claim they've lost the technology. Even astronauts now will say things like, when humans finally are able to leave lower orbit, the moon's out of lower orbit. We do not have the technology to send a human to the moon now. And, and why? They say because they, quote, lost it. So we can't. No, we no. I really thought that it was just like, all right, been there, done that. Don't need to go there anymore. Yeah, yeah, like why have we not ever it. been back? I mean, that's a good question. Wait, we've only been one time? Ah! We tried to go back, but then Tom Hanks said, Houston, we got a problem. Exactly. So then they probably but, said, no more trying this. This is too hold dangerous. Hold Look it up. We've only been to the moon one time? Uh, yeah. December 1972 was the last time we went to a moon. Astronauts say the reasons were budgetary and political, not scientific and technical. Uh, they say by 2025, we could have somebody up again. However, they say they can't do it right now because they lost the technology. Well, that's okay. I tell my kids, like, we can't go to Disney right now. Guys, we'll do it later. I we're, lose my car keys all the time, so fighting, I see how it can happen. We're, we're battling with Russia to be the first ones up so we can d- declare superiority. And all hey. of a sudden, we get up there, and now we can't get up there anymore because we lost the technology. Don't sleep on India, too. I know. Th- I hear they're building rockets. And I'm not asking about that. How come we lost the technology? We just lost it? You Dude, just, people lose things all the time. No, that's true. You don't Dude, write no, it no. down and have it in one notebook, and someone loses the one notebook, the technology to get you to the moon. Uh, no, maybe they did because they didn't want other people to steal it. Even astronauts now are saying we've never left lower orbit. But but they've asked Neil Buzz. Hey, and watch the press conference when they come back from this moon trip. What? What's what do they say? It's very dead. It's yeah, we did it. Mm-hmm. We did it. Oh, it's wild. Not convincing. Okay, so the the moon suit that they say step the moon prints are different on the moon finger quotes than the bottom of the shoes that they had, and then all of a sudden they came out. And they're like, no, that we put another layer over the shoes that showed the prints. But okay, not only that, there's not a tape of them going to the moon. Meaning, when they showed it on TV, they didn't show a feed. They showed they were a feed. Filming the- they showed it on a sheet, like they basically projected it onto a sheet, and then shot the sheet to show people, so it couldn't be. There were no distinct like lines. Really? Yeah. Are you sure about all this, dude? I'm telling you, it's weird. Because it doesn't. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the, any government being like, "All right, we need to be the first, so just make it up." Yes. Well, and we're fighting with Russia like crazy. Right. I. It's just, how do you lose, quote, the technology? Wait, have We've other- never lost the technology for anything. And all of a sudden, we lose the technology to get to the moon, and we still haven't been able to get it back since the 70s? What? I mean, sorry. Okay. It's just a little fishy is all so, I'm saying. But what about the other countries, Russia, India, and China, that have been to the moon? Let's Let's see it. They lying, too? Let's see it. Don't sleep on India. I told you, man. Let's see it. I don't know. I have no idea. I just know that 69, <laughs> oh, boy. When we, we supposedly seen- landed. Yeah. I, it's just too much to say we were just trying to beat Russia. But and they said they went on 70 and something. we just claimed it. I don't even know You that. just said. I'm just telling you now we can't get there because they claim we lost the technology. I, Nobody can get there. I just, Not, I just Other think, countries can't get there. I just think there's no, like, no reason to go. What's on the moon? Nothing. No, Craters. but if you've already been, then you build a hub there to go to somewhere farther. Oh. But you can't Smart get there now? But you could in the 60s? And you see that spaceship they flew to the moon, apparently? Mm-hmm. It looks like you freaking put it together with Lincoln Logs yeah. and, like, cellophane. Oh, wow. Okay. And Hold like on. the wind is blowing the American flag. It's just a lot of weird things where probably all of them aren't true, but there's so many. <laughs> no, there wasn't wind. It's, it's It was just standing there. The okay. flag just looks straight. Exactly. Listen, I don't know if this is correct, but 
there ha- they, they document things by whether or not a country has done a flyby. <laughs> flying by the moon. Of whether you've, 13. you've orbited it, you've used a lander, a rover, or if you had a crew, crewed landing. And the United States is the only one that has that milestone achieved. Crewed landing? Yeah. So we've, we're the only ones that supposedly been... Eddie, hold on. Supposedly. So we're the only ones yeah. that have ever been on the moon. That's what I'm talking okay. about. That's why we're awesome. Okay. I mean... Woo! And we can't get there now, though. Yeah, we don't want to. Because there's that radiation belt that we can't get through. Been there, done that. Uh, it says, why don't people go to the moon anymore? In 1970, future Apollo missions were canceled. Apollo 17 became the last crewed mission to the moon for an indefinite amount of time. The main reason was for the money. The cost of getting to the moon was, ironically, astronomical. Okay. Well, yeah, it's expensive. I don't even know if they got out on the moon, but this is some bull crap. You're going to tell me we lost the technology. We haven't gotten there since. Astronauts now talk about one day, if when we get to leave lower orbit... Look at that spaceship. Look at that spaceship. Yeah, the foil one. And and even how they shot it to show America. Uh. There's a projector on a basically a screen, and then they're and they don't have the tape anymore. That tape's gone, dude. It's crazy how much. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there could be a, a conspiracy theory on anything. You can ask a question. No, no on I agree. Anything. I agree. But that's a lot, and I don't believe conspiracy theories for the most part. But I do think like one in thirty are probably right. Just a numbers game. That moon thing's crazy to me, though, because I'm not somebody to believe that. I've just seen so much about it. Okay, what's the other TV thing? Uh, the United States has successfully conducted. Oh, uh, Lunchbox said it. OJ Simpson's uh, car time. chase. Yeah, JFK. That'd be crazy if OJ Simpson was landed on the moon. Yeah. What? Well, not the shooting. OJ Simpson's car chase. Oh, but the afterwards. Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, we're we talking about something else other than the moon. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're done. Top dude. TV moment. I'm telling you that. Well, moon's we're not done. I'm reading about it now. I'm very. Just re- do this. Spend some time reading about it. For what? For what? You don't have to then. How is that going to change my life? There are those it doesn't, weird But why videos. do you read or learn anything? It it's doesn't not. change your life. It's not going to change my life. Right, but anything you read doesn't. Everything you read doesn't change your life. Why do you get on Twitter? That's, That's not true. That's not going to change your life. No, I, you're right. So I, I don't do that a lot. Right. So, you're, okay, mid roll here. <laughs> Hold on. Here you go. Anyway, so are, not everything you read is supposed to change your life. You should. Okay, go ahead. Aren't there the videos of Buzz? Don't you bring science on every, like, month? Oh, my God, oh, every day. Right. That's pretty cool. But Fossils and ahead. stuff. Doing interviews where he alludes to that. They, they didn't go, yes. He's old, though. and people Ooh, like, Buzz? People yeah. are like, oh, maybe he's going a little senile, yeah. but apparently maybe he's just now. And apparently they turn- that buggy that they drive up there yeah. on the moon, they put it together once they got up there. Again, look at the spaceship they were in. You think they got a... They assembled it? Yeah. With, like... It's wild. Just if you get bored, Eddie, you don't have to. But read about it and then come in the next few days and tell me if you think there's more of a chance that we were lied to. And not we. We weren't even alive. We, if we hadn't been in such a fight with Russia to get there first, then I'd be like, yeah, but is our government a lie? All governments lie. Sure. It's crazy, bro. You heard what I said. So what's the third TV moment? Oh, I don't know, dude. I forgot. Uh, number one's Neil Armstrong. Number two... 9 11, number three, The Beatles and Ed Sullivan, 1964. Oh, British Invasion. Number four, the premiere episode of Roots, 1977. Number five, CBS News anchor, anchor Walter Cronkite announcing the death of John F. Kennedy. Number six, MLK, MLK I Have a Dream. Number seven, episode 1065 of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, when Mr. Rogers invites Oscar Clements, who is black, to share a waiting pool on a hot day at May 9th, 1969. What's crazy about stuff like that is we weren't alive. It's even like Princess Diana shaking hands without a glove with the first uh, eight, with the HIV patient or somebody had AIDS. Mm-hmm. And now we look at it like, yeah, so. But that was a huge deal then because yeah. nobody was pushing those, those yeah. boundaries. To and, be the first to do it is a big deal. Yep. The series finale of MASH, 1983. The first ever music video on MTV is at number nine. Video killed the radio star by... Uh, uh-uh. Video killed the radio star. Not Wham. The Buggles. Uh, that's it. <laughs> you didn't know that. No, I did. I was going to call them the Bingles, though. No, okay. you weren't. I George, swear. George Carlin hosted the season premiere of Saturday Night Live on October 11th, 1975 at number 10. So there you go. Man, there's nothing really that new. No. Uh, like it's current. harder to capture everybody's mm-hmm. attention because... There's so many outlets now for everybody's attention to exist. Mm-hmm. Far more famous people now, far less really famous people. And the people that are really famous mostly are grandfathered in from before fame started to be so fractured. Hollywood actors. 
Yeah, DiCaprio. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Like, like you and this Hanks. What? Love Tom Hanks. It's always Tom Hanks. <laughs> Love that dude. An ice cream parlor has a two hundred and fifty dollar ice cream bar on their menu. Ooh. Gold. That's what I'm saying. Gold flex. It's a truffle. The Toak Bar. It's luxury vanilla, dipping it into premium chocolate coating, and you could lie. That could just be regular vanilla <laughs> yeah. and regular chocolate. And regular chocolate coating. Next up, the bartender picks up a Hermes spoon to scoop up shaved morsels of the most expensive and rarest chocolate in the world, which is called the Toak chocolate, and places it right on the bar. They cover the bar with edible 24K gold leaf and to top it off with sugar diamonds. And the spoon oh. is name brand? Yeah. Sugar but diamonds? But you get to keep the spoon? No. Yeah, I guess you keep the spoon. Oh, huh? you do? I don't know, dude. You buy this. If you buy this, you're only buying it so you can put it on Instagram. Yeah. That's why we do a lot of things. It's from ESPNWFL.com. We... Hey, society, we do big birthday parties for our kids. Why? So you can put it on Instagram. What? I don't. I've never put my kids' birthday party on Instagram. Uh, latest data: gas prices are down again, over twenty five cents from a year ago. Gas continues to drop, which is good. good. If you're in a bad mood, they say experts say watch thirty minutes of something funny. What's the funny thing you would watch? Mine would probably be The Office. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch something. That is funny. I was watching that the other day. Laugh out loud. Seinfeld's the good. Office. Are you saying laugh out loud? No, I was laughing out loud. Like I for some episodes, like I just forget how ridiculous <laughs> they are. Yeah, it's such a good show. Boeing says they're taking a hard look at quality control after the Alaska Airlines door plug incident. <laughs> yeah, I would. Think good I would. for you guys. Man, that's wild. I take a harder look than a hard look. <laughs> the hardest look Multiple possible. Multiple hard looks. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd look and not stop looking for a while. <laughs> Luckily, nobody died. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how. Close people were to dying, meaning if there were people in those seats, would they have died? But luckily there weren't. And if there weren't, that should be a bigger story. Yeah, how crazy? No, they weren't. No, I'm saying if there if there weren't and there was like a reason, like an accident, like those people should be like, oh, I was supposed to get on the plane, but it didn't. Yeah, like why were those two seats empty? Or I would just claim I was one of them on TikTok and get a bunch of views. Be like, I was supposed to be on the flight, but I couldn't go. I was working at the soup kitchen instead last minute. Like I saw that Michael Jackson was supposed to be at the World Trade Center mm -hmm. that morning, but uh, he overslept. The creator of Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane, was supposed to be on the, one of the flights, but he... Overslept? I th oh, like, yeah, or Marky Mark Wahlberg or Donnie Wahlberg, same thing. Yeah, Julie from Real World New Orleans, she was supposed to be on there. She was going to fly to see her boyfriend, but they got in a fight the night before, so she missed her flight on purpose. Oh, wow. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. There's going to be a trillionaire. Oh. I said the world's first trillionaire within 10 years. That doesn't mean anything to me because once it goes past, like, millions... I get billions, but then it starts to be like it's all the same because it's just so much. One person, a trillionaire? Mm -hmm. That's too much money. Oh, I, oh. I started dumb money. But that would be 90, 999 billion. billion. 1,000 billion. <laughs> That's too much. That, that should is be 1, awesome. billion. Yeah, dumb money's good. Yeah. Crazy. I feel like you can start your own country with a trillion dollars. Yeah, less than that. I'm sure the GDP of some countries is way less than a trillion. Trillion dollars. dollars. Six people missing in St. Louis could be in the clutches of an online cult. Oh, no. I thought about watching that cult show you watched on Netflix. I Twin Flame. I didn't do it because we started watching Boy Swallows Galaxy or whatever it's called. Universe? Yeah. No. Universe? It's fine. Yeah, I think so. Now that I have some distance from it, I'm like, oh, yeah, there Escaping might be, Twin Flames. Mm -hmm, there might be stuff better. It's just, it's just fascinating when you get into that stuff and how people are able to manipulate in such a way that they convince people to, like, stop talking to their families. Yeah. yeah. Six people who have been reported missing in Missouri are believed to have been drawn to a cult led by a convicted child molester named Rashad Jamal, who's serving an 18-year prison sentence in Georgia. Jamal runs the online University of Cosmic Intelligence, which claims on its website to be geared toward enlightening and illuminating the minds of carbonated beings, a.k.a. your so-called black and Latino people on Earth. I wonder if they let me in. Sure. I'm not black or Latino. Honorary. You're my mm. friend, though. Thank you. The six missing people include four women in their 20s and three, and two three-year-old children. Mm. The six missing people were last seen in August at a Quality Inn near St. Louis Lambert International Airport. NBC News, that sucks. Because people that are getting involved, that's very vulnerable people. Very. Someone tried to SWAT the president. SWAT? A significant number of emergency... Oh, SWAT? When you like call a SWAT team? Yeah, I, oh. I was clarifying. It was call a SWAT team or they tried to SWAT him. Yeah, I was thinking hit him. Uh, yeah. How do they do that? A <laughs> significant number of emergency personnel responded to the White House yesterday morning after a 911 call falsely claimed there was a fire and someone was trapped inside. Uh. President Biden spent the weekend at Camp David and was not there. 
mm. CNN. Those SWATs can go bad because you're they're going in, kick door, gun up. I don't think you can just call nine one one from the White House. No, 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 no. Right? no, no. Like you, if there's I don't an know emergency, about that. I mean, I mean, you, can't, great you can't call and SWAT somebody. Also, sure, was it sure. Camp David? Uh, no, this was I said the White House. Oh, yeah, he was at Camp David. Oh, yeah, he, he spent the weekend at Camp David, gotcha. so the White House. Okay. I feel like they'd have some other protocol to look for an emergency at the White House, not just let me call nine one one. Yeah, I would think nine one one lived there. <laughs> yeah, they probably exactly. got like one of the rooms. Nine one one's there right. all the time. Ten immediate red flags if you see them in someone's home. Number one, pets that are not cared for properly, like a litter box has been cleaned forever, etc. Oh. Number two, animals inside that are not indoor animals, or are not behaving like indoor animals. Like a wolf? Like a pig? Like, like a rhinoceros? I would, I don't know. My mind <laughs> went to like rhino. possum. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, no hand soap in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, that sucks. And, and I'm sure I've done it too, where you, you mean to switch it out and you forget, and then someone's watching, they're like, oh, God, there's no hand soap. Yeah. I'm sure I've done that before, but that stinks. Um, not having hand towels. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's me. Well, we don't, we have like paper towels. But in your bath- in the bathroom, your guest bathroom, you probably have a hand towel and a hook. Yeah. Oh, I would bet. I, I have paper towels put in every room, even hidden around as well, because I don't want to touch things that other people have touched, like a towel. Oh. That's gross. Trash piled beyond the trash can, hoarding, unsecured guns, live, laugh, love signs. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? <laughs> Home is where the heart is. Yes. <laughs> if you could trade years of your life for $500,000 each, would you? And how many? $500,000. Like they just wouldn't have, they never would have happened? Trade? Like no, you're no, going to, no, no. you're future, only like, future, so, future years. Yeah, fut- yeah, you can't trade oh, past I years. Oh, I thought, I was no, like, man, I'd years. get rid of 2022 probably. <laughs> At 2020. <laughs> for five years. No, we don't get rid of past years. <laughs> oh. so, COVID year, man, for sure. It's the end of our life. At the end of our life. Let's say we're going to live to be 83, but instead you want three years. So you're just going to live to be 80 and you get $1.5 million. Okay. No, but you don't know. You may live to be 49. Oh, I'm not going to do that. No years? No, no money? None. Yeah, no. Because Eddie? Yeah, yeah. I would do 500000 <laughs> Four years. So $2 million <laughs> yeah. to cut four years off your life. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to be old anyway. No. I- I'm assuming. I'm just taking, okay. you know, taking but the chances. But what if chances. you're, okay, okay. Lunchbox? Yeah, I'm probably doing three because you need $1.5 million retire, and I won't have to work, so I'll get those years Boom. and enjoyment back. Oh, yeah. She get the money now. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You, uh, Bones? None, no chance. Zero? In my broker years, probably. Not or now. your single years? No, even then I started to make money and I was like, "This is awesome." But yeah, I know, but you have a <laughs> you have a wife that you probably don't want to leave four years early. No, no, but I'm just saying, in my broker years, I might have done it. I get you. I wouldn't do it now. I'm gonna die before her anyway. I'm a, almost twelve years older than her. <laughs> yeah, and, and you you you're like really into like living long. Like you want to live. Heck yeah, forever. Eddie, who doesn't? I don't. You are so stupid. No, I don't want it, man. You know, I don't want to be like cha- being changed by my kids or like somebody having to take care of me. I don't You're want to do that. Crazy. The most popular answer is one to two years. About forty percent said they'd give up the last year or two, which is five hundred thousand or a million. Oh, just a million. Yeah, to be a millionaire would be pretty cool. I can't. I wouldn't. Can't do it. I know. Just for the risk of like, what if that means, I. That's next year for me or something. That would be hard. All you take sudden, the money and you die. All of a sudden, Amy's <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> right. California could become the first state to ban tackle football for kids under 12 years old. Oh, wow. To reduce brain injuries in children. I don't mind that. Yeah. They're not taking tackle football all the way away. And it's also, you don't have to play it if you don't want to. But uh, we started playing in fourth grade. How old is that? Fourth grade? That is n- eight years old. No, eight second grade, isn't it? So 10? Well, 5 so is eight, kindergarten, nine. 6, seven, Depending eight. Depending on when your birthday is. Okay, 9. Just say 9. We In fourth grade, we started playing tackle football. We played peewee football, but it was full tackle. But, you, mm-hmm. you know, I think at 12, that, that's, a, that's a fine. You still get to play. You still get to play in sixth grade. We're going to find out sugar and these collisions are we're just bad news. There's going to be a span of like 50 years we look back and go, can you believe they had sugar like that? Or they just ran into each other and... All jostled their brains for that long. Yeah. And I played football, and I know football's so popular. I love it. Can't get enough. I got two footballs in front of me now. But honestly, you're going that fast, and you're hitting. That hard. That hard. With, with a with an undeveloped brain that's still developing. Yeah. So. But, yeah. KTLA with that story. Any, any thoughts? Even the developed brains. 
so dangerous. I saw Patrick Mahomes' helmet break. Yeah, but that's because of the weather. Yeah, it's because it was cold. Yeah, and also that's a re- you kind of want your helmet to do that if because mm-hmm. I was reading the science behind it. That's the shell on top of the the actual really protective part underneath it, and it broke because it was so cold. It looked cool though, man. Yeah. Like it, he's got to have that picture like blown up and framed. It's cool, <laughs> especially because they won too. Yeah. eBay has to pay a three million dollar fine after employees sent live spiders, cockroaches, and other disturbing items to the home of a Massachusetts couple who put out a newsletter that was critical of eBay. Oh, three million bucks to eBay is nothing, but how weird are you to send cockroaches, spiders, and bugs to a... Yeah, it's just ah. evil. Also, you don't own eBay. Or yes, there's... right. You just worked there. And did they write, from eBay? How did they find out? Return address. It goes right back to you. Yes. <laughs> we hate you. Signed eBay. <laughs> uh, all right. Ray, how long was this? Let's see. 32. Oh, that's good, huh? That counts. Yep. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Road should be a little better, but we're here today, so uh, wish us wish us the best going home. And there's a new episode of Too Much Access up, which is our our sports show we travel around. We're at TCU talking with the coach and shooting from the nipple. Did you know there was a nipple on the basketball court, Amy? Oh, you play basketball, Amy? Oh, I'm trying to think of where the nipple is. Exactly, us too. But we definitely is flip. it the top of the three point line? Nah, nope. In the center court? Nope. We're not acting smart because he was like, shoot from the nipple. We're like, what? <laughs> we had no idea. So go to uh, Mr. Bobby Bones. It's up there. Or go to TooMuchAccess.com uh, next week, the Indiana Pacers. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, buddy.